Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a red bar telephone and this is Steve's telephone from Texas. And so basically uh, there was a lot of issues with this telephone but Steve's got other telephones that were in the shop here that have been repaired and this is the final telephone. And we're going to run through a little bit about what went on with this telephone. First of all, the uh, body on this telephone was cracked up really bad and so it had some extensive body work done to it. And I went ahead and said that I would do the body work even though I really don't try to get into the cosmetic part of it just for the simple fact that I don't have a lot of time and so you know it takes a long time to do body work and get that all that kind of stuff straightened out. We also installed a dial center ring card so uh, it's more to the period of the telephone and the rotary on this telephone is not going to dial out because this is an intercom dial and so since this was an intercom telephone the points on this telephone start out in an open position and not a closed position like we need for our service today and so that dial is not going to dial out and Steve understands that and so basically uh, when this telephone came in there was an issue with the bell we got that repaired and worked on that and finished that up we also had to replace the handset cord because it was very brittle and it wasn't any good and so we replaced the handset cord with one like it. We also replaced the line cord that was also really in bad condition and this line cord Steve can simply walk up to any jack and plug it in and use this telephone. So we're going to be using this telephone as an extension phone basically and he knows that. So um, you know just kind of basically gone through everything on the telephone and, and got it squared away and this telephone has a really nice bell sound to it and uh, so we'll we'll show you that here in a little while. Another issue I want to talk about is these are T1s and or transmitters and they have the carbon granules in them and I want to show you different styles of them because basically what happens here in the shop is I started a circuit design that takes the place of these T1 transmitters with carbon granules in there because what happens with these T1s with the carbon granules in them is they get real noisy after they have some age on them and they'll start sounding real staticky and so when you're talking you know people notice it, you notice it uh, when you're talking you can hear it actually have all kinds of static and so it's harder and harder to find new stock of these uh, transmitters and there's quite a few different styles so you'd have to try to get new ones or used ones that were in good condition and we just don't bother with that any longer. Okay we had to take a short break there but so basically what we were talking about is I've designed a electronic transmitter and so you will get a much higher quality on your audio and your transmit than you would ever get out of a carbon granule T1 transmitter and so basically that's what I'm showing you here and this is the original transmitter for this telephone. What we want to do is put the telephone back together again. I want to put the cap back on. I want to move these out of the way because we no longer need them and the original transmitter that was in this uh, telephone is no good. It does not work at all it doesn't even have static it just doesn't work and so we replaced it and we want to put our cap back on and it's as simple as that once the circuit is installed now you have a new transmitter and the audio quality uh, will be uh, much higher than anything that you would get uh, with an older style or new old stock uh, T1. 
So now what we want to do is I want to put a piece of tape over the hook switch because I want to ring the telephone and do our final checks. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and ring the telephone with the analyzer. It has a really nice ring to it. I'm going to let that go several times because that was one of the issues. I'll let it go one more time. I'll go ahead and pull the hook switch up, give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is I just want to tap the hook switch a little bit and that will cause dial tone to go away on the analyzer. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light, see how bright that red light gets? That's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. You would never get that light on the analyzer to be that bright with a older style T1. So the quality of this microphone is far superior to anything that you would have in a carbon granule type microphone. Now what we want to do is I want to move over to a regular line and I have a button here on my switch box and when I push that it's going to give us a line out and so uh, to a regular telephone line and I want to call a time and temp number but we can't dial with this telephone so what I'm going to use is a tone dialer and uh, we'll call a time and temp number the problem is is they're having some issues with their equipment and when they answer and talk a little bit what will happen is you'll hear a hum and then some more talking and then it'll probably hum again and then you know they'll finish up the recording but uh, that's a problem with their equipment that hum has nothing to do with what we're doing here and it may have been repaired by now but uh, they've been having problems with their equipment lately so we're going to go ahead and do that I want to get the tone dialer ready and this is another issue. If I put the tone dialer up against the transmitter, see, the tone dialer goes through the transmitter and out through the phone company. And so you know that this is very sensitive if it accepts a tone dialer. So I want to go ahead and push our button. That will give us some dial tone. I want to give you some dial tone. And then we'll use our tone dialer.